Okay, my friends, let's talk about free AI image creation. Why would you even want this? You might want graphics, some free graphics that you can create in 30 seconds or less. That's key, 30 seconds or less, okay, with the right prompts is why would you want this? Because you can create this for, use these kind of graphics on your website, use them in your newsletter, use them in your social media. I don't care where you use them, but we're going to talk about two tools. So stick around to take a little tutorial on two tools, not just one. They're both created by Google. The two tools, as you see in this graphic, are not Bard and Gemini. I'm putting that graphic on there because I want you to know if you're used to hearing about Bard and in the next couple of weeks, you, you don't hear about Bard and Anymore. You only hear about Gemini. They may be changing the name. So either one of those names that you hear will be appropriate for you, Bard or Gemini. And then the second one is going to be Image FX. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and increase this. So it's a little bit easier for you. Now let's get in. And what are some of those graphics? These are examples of the graphics that I'm creating in 30 seconds or less. Now, here's what the key is. And if you're going to write down anything or take any notes during this video, the number one thing to write down is that prompts are everything. This is all about putting together great prompts. If you're not getting the results that you need, change how you are prompting things. So in these, you'll notice in my first graphic that you just saw, this picture was included. So David, how exactly did you get that picture? I'm going to show you what the exact prompt was. And I'm going to give you a key phrase to use when you're doing graphics. It's this first one, generate an image. Okay, Generate an image that depicts a frustrated transaction quarter with a frustrated and silly expression, maybe even with some crazy or messy hair. That's all I typed, and it gave me those four. Now, here are three phrases that I've used that work really well for me. Number one, generate an image of create an image of, create a painting of, or generate a graphic of, create a graphic of. So those types of things, start using phrases like that to start out. So what is the other tool? So this is Bard, and we're going to go through this. I'm going to read a bunch of my prompts to you so you can see exactly what I got and how I went from something like this do something like this. Notice how everybody's serious here. Everybody's laughing there. I'm going to show you the tiny little changes that I make that change everything for us. Now, the second tool is this, and I'm kind of liking this, okay? And that is Image FX. Now, we're going to post this video up on YouTube, and in the description, you will have the link to Bard or Gemini, and you'll have the link to Image FX. So click on either one of those. It'll get you right to where you are looking right now. Now, what is the difference between these two? One major thing, and that is, is this. Notice all these little purple boxes here. All I did is I took one of the prompts that created some images, uh, the image that I just showed you with the crazy hair and frustration and everything else, and I cut, copied, and pasted that prompt, the one that I had shown you earlier, and I just pasted it in here. When I paste it in here, it actually will go ahead and take, which is static here. I can't change anything about this right now. But if I put it in here and I click create or generate, I'm sorry, notice what it's going to do. Look at all these purple boxes that are about to pop up. Before an image pops up, look at all the purple boxes that are about to pop up. Did you notice that? And what it does is it analyzes the actual sentence and it says, hey, by the way, maybe you do want it working hard. Would you like to try what it would look like if they were relaxing? What about if they were taking a break? What if they were playing video games? What if instead of files, it's documents or contracts or emails, okay? What if instead of uh, an agent, we were talking about their clients or we were talking about someone's customer or we were talking about partners? So what it's doing is actually helping you to get creative. That's the difference between Bard and Image FX. Now, there's a way to get Bard to help you with some of your prompts as well. So let's go ahead, and I just wanted to show you the difference between these two tools. And I absolutely love the graphics that they came up with on this. And all of these graphics, once I'm in that graphic, or this graphic, 
or this graphic, okay, I can go ahead and click the download button and it will allow me to download. There's a couple other features on here. I'll let you play with them, but know that these are the two tools that I have been using for the graphics that you have been seeing, say in our Facebook groups or some of our um, uh, social media posts and stuff lately. So let's stick with Bard for a little while and teach you a bit about the prompting that I'm using. So let's use this very first prompt I gave Bard. Create an image of a real estate transaction coordinator working hard on all of their files they have received from their agent. Now, gosh, doesn't it look like they're looking hard? But if you guys know me, you know anything about me, I am all about joy. <laughs> Okay, I'm truly about gratitude, joy, compassion, those types of things, peace and contentment. So I couldn't handle these pictures. Why? Everybody just looked so serious. Everybody looked almost sad. Okay, so I said, create four more of them. Now, when I say create four more of them, I'm using a phrase that references the previous prompt, but try to show that the transaction coordinators are happy and grateful to be working on their agent's files. So what am I getting? I'm getting something that just is a little lighter, brighter. It's um, it's just got more joy to it. Okay, not everything that uh, that a transaction coordinator does causes them frustrations. Now I could say the same thing about agents. I could generate four images about agents working hard for their clients, and it comes up with four very serious things. And I just go in there and say, you know what? Give me that same type of thing, but give me it with this vibe and feel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. You notice how kind of realistic all these photos are? I kind of got sick of that look because a lot of the stuff they were giving me was very realistic like this. So then what I did is I said, uh, give, and what if you were to create graphics in these themes, but in the style of colorful and playful cartoons? Come on, that is brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. So not only did I change what's going on, I actually can change the theme, the style of what's going on here. That's beautiful. I wish I could do art like that. And in fact, I can, 30 seconds or less, okay? I'm telling you right now, this is just so fantastic. Now, all of this stuff, this is all great. This is all fun. I said, how about in the style of a painting? So instead of cartoon and graphic, this was supposed to be more of it's kind of painted and you can kind of tell by the hair, it looks like it's a little bit more painting. I love this graphic. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, hopefully none of you, no TC, no agent has this kind of files on their desk because you should all be going digital, okay? But I love this graphic, okay? I love it. Now, I'm gonna tell you what some of the headaches are with using some of these tools. And I actually love the headaches, okay? So reframe your mind. When you get a bunch of errors, error after error after error after error, I love the errors because it's it's actually telling me I can't do this and I can't do that. But then a lot of times it's giving me suggestions of what it can do. So I love that it's helping me along. So sometimes, and I'm going to give you one where it actually uh, told me that it could not do something. Oh, I want to go back to that one in a second. You're going to love that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, shoot. Where is it? Oh, by the way, then I said, uh, give me some agents that are high fiving. And so it gave me all these realistic graphics. Then a couple later, I just said, hey, Give me some of them if they were painted and it just totally changed the vibe of it. I loved it. And I said, give it to me in cartoons and it totally screwed it up. So here's one cartoon. What's this dude doing with a house on his face? And what the frick are these? Okay. So it doesn't always nail it. So since I hated these, I just reworded it and I got this. Okay. Now let's go back to that part that I said you're going to love. Okay. So what I did, I was uh, speaking with someone on the phone transaction coordinator named Jessica, and she's a freak of nature. She's amazing. I'm just an amazing human being, but amazing at her work as well. And she's a small business owner. So we're talking while she's sitting in her office and she had a treadmill behind her. And I got off the phone and the very first uh, thing that I did is I came here, I said, how about a graphic of a transaction coordinator working, on, uh, working while they're riding a stationary bike? And it came up with these. I freaking loved it. Freaking loved it. Okay. So what is that uh, part that I wanted to show you where it's really prompting me? Okay, right here. So, 
oh, it was right next to uh, the treadmill one. So after I did that one, it said, hey, by the way, can I help you a little bit? I mean, those graphics might have been fine, but here are some additional details you might like. Trans, How about try this one? A transaction creator could be a male. It could be female, non-binary, non -binary, reflecting the diversity of the profession. What about documents that are juggling? Could be contracts, emails, sticky notes, or other real estate related paper. It's telling me, hey, do you want to get more specific on this? Do you want to redo that same prompt and say that they're uh, that they're contracts? Do you want to talk about it being emails? Do you want to talk about it being sticky notes? It's actually giving me some options so I could play along around with this and I could actually redo the exact same prompt with little minor differences. Then my wife was an art minor in college. And so she would think about this next line, but I wouldn't have. She would know that there is modern, there is minimalist, there is playful styles, all those types of things. So it's telling me, hey, would you like me to try it in a more modern style? Would you like me to try it as a minimalist style, a playful style, uh, depending on your preferences? You could even add a background like this one here. I kind of like this, but I don't like the background. That is just so dull. So it's telling me, hey, we could even add a background element like a homey office space or a cityscape to illustrate the coordinator's multitasking with uh, while remaining productive. I love that now after I do a few prompts, it's actually saying, hey, do you want to get more specific about a few of these things? We're giving you the best that we got, but if you want to, here's a couple ideas. Do you notice how this tool is actually helping me? It will take my prompts and then after a while say, do you want to try a little, you want, want to do something better for me? <laughs> okay. Now, where are some other errors that you're going to run into? Like, I like this. I, I said, how about a transaction coordinator working hard on files while they have three dogs in their home office? Okay, so notice that this one has four dogs. I said three. This one's only got two, but I said three. Okay, this one's got three. So it's not going to nail it every time. Now, could I use this graphic? I have used this graphic. Now, if anybody really pays attention, which I don't think most people do, if you really go in on this image, this image is messed up. Look at that dog's face. What's going on there? Okay, what's up with what's inside this dog's mouth? Okay, it's just a blur. Okay, versus this dog's face. It it makes no sense whatsoever. But when it's this size of a graphic, it doesn't matter. So sometimes it's going to make some mistakes. Okay. If I look at this this one, I think this is great. Okay. I look at it and I'm like, that's really nice. But if I really look at it hard, every once in a while there's going to be little mistakes. Like, what's going on with this random paw that's coming out here? It doesn't even look like technically it's coming from that dog. It's just a little off. Okay. But who cares? And how is this dog so high in the first place, that high off the ground? But if I really had it just in some type of thing, like a little newsletter, a little this or a little that, I'm telling you right now, a lot of these things wouldn't come through. But then I get to something like this and the detail is amazing. It's over the top. It's so good. Okay. Now let's talk about those prompts again. Could I ask you to create an image of a transaction coordinator telling one of their agents that the real estate agent doesn't need to worry because they have everything under control? And this is what it came up with. And I didn't like how serious everybody was, which is a theme with me. Could I ask you to recreate an image of the transaction coordinator telling one of their real estate agents that the file is officially clear to close and that we're looking good? So it came up with all this stuff. Come on, this stuff is great. The detail in these is amazing. Now, if I blow them up, I can really nitpick these things and find a little things. Give me a break. These are great though. I'm creating these in 30 seconds or less. And notice I'm just changing the prompts a little bit. Then I said, how about a transaction coordinator and her agent given high five? What if that was painted instead? And it gives me different ones, okay? What if it was in a cartoon? I did the same prompt three different times. It gave me something that was very, very, very specific and realistic. Then one that was painted and then one that's almost more of a cartoon style. Then this one, this is just me. I said, what if the agent was a dog and the transaction coordinator was a cat? I think it came up with garbage, but it's still funny to see what it would do. I'm having fun with this stuff, okay? So this one, I love this one. Please generate an image of a real estate transaction coordinator who is telling her agent that she needs to be copied in on all future emails. Don't tell me as a transaction coordinator, you haven't had that exact look on your face from time to time. All right. So that you can have a lot of fun with this, guys. Okay. What about this? 
Generate an image of a transaction coordinator that is confused, frustrated, and tired after a long day's work. Okay. Then I said, do the same thing, but in a more humorous and playful style. I just, you may not love all of it. And then I said, what if those were paintings? And I came up with all this random stuff. And some of you do. I've seen your pictures of your office. You do have animals that are lying on top of your work. You do end up with, you're working at home, you're working in your PJs. And by the end of the day, this is about what you look like. Your slippers are no longer in your feet. They're on your hands. Now, I'm going to end with this. There are going to be a lot of things that may frustrate you while you're using these tools. It's going to tell you, I can't generate that. I can't generate that. I can't generate that. I can't generate that. Okay. But I came up with most of these photos in 30 seconds or less. Okay. And if it's not generating it for you, understand that a lot of times it's just one word because they have protections on here. So I want you to use the, uh, see the word frustrated, screaming, crying. That built up enough of a concern for Google that it says, I understand that you're looking. Read. Th this is what it's telling me when I tried to ask it to generate this image. I understand that you're looking for an image that depicts a frustrated real estate transaction coordinator. However, I am unable to generate images that show people experiencing extreme negative emotions like screaming or crying. This is against my content policy, which aims to protect users from potentially harmful or upsetting content. And then it gives me suggestions. What if you were to ask me, and it, and it even gives me a phrase, furrowed brow or tired eyes. So when I'm talking about someone who is frustrated, screaming or crying, do you notice that it actually helped me here? Didn't just say, I can't generate that image because it will do that a number of times. And after a while, it'll say, obviously, you're not listening to me. <laughs> Let me get more specific and I'll give you a few words that maybe you could change and get the results you're looking for. So how did I get this one? Generate image of a frustrated transaction coordinator with a frustrated and silly expression, maybe even with some crazy or messy hair. And I'm going to tell you, I put this exact prompt in multiple times, and sometimes it has said, I cannot generate that image. And that's because I used the word frustrated in it twice. Then from there, I come back five minutes later, I put the same thing in, and it gave me these four, okay? So the last thing, there's just so many uh, graphics I came up with here, none of them taking me more than 30 seconds, okay? Here's what I want you to know is, uh, and then we'll end this video. In here, you can go right in here and you can actually just start typing and you can edit. This one here, what you can do is every time that you go ahead and post, notice that this prompt, I can't click into this. I can do nothing but cut, copy, and paste it. But whatever your last prompt is, if you click into it, it will allow you to edit your last prompt. So you can go in there and make those changes and then you can go ahead and say update and it will try again and if i don't like what it came up with now you're seeing the real time how long this is taking to generate this is actually longer than it takes 99 percent of the time I'm not sure why it's taking a while right now but it came up and that was certainly 30 seconds or less but i can go in here now and i could go ahead and fix this and change this or do whatever I wanted to with it. So editing in here, I can always just click and start editing. Editing in any of these prompts, you can only edit your final prompt. So if I wanted to edit this one, what I would do is I would cut, copy, and paste it and just start a new prompt down here and edit it from there. So that's how you use these two free tools. I am going to tell you just a reminder is that if uh, this is something that is fun to you, is exciting to you, all of those types of things, I'm going to go ahead, pull this back up again. Let's go here. Okay. Is the fact is if this is fun and exciting for you is you want to get into your Google tools. There's Bard, which may become Gemini. Um, and some people are using those as interchangeable terms. So don't let that confuse you. And from there, there is the uh, image FX. The links for both of those will be in the description in the YouTube. And I hope that's helpful to everybody. Have an awesome day. Start creating. Take care.